This is ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel. Now, Eurovision isn't complete without some proper drama and currently it is Belarus who is delivering. Let me break this down for you to the best of my abilities. Last week, Ukrainian pop star Alexeyev qualified in Belarus for the national final. The song that he put forward is called Forever. No need to worry, rippling down his side. Well, as it appears, a lot of the other contestants are not approving of this decision. As a matter of fact, several of them threaten to withdraw from the selection if the broadcaster fails to remove Alexiev from the lineup. Those artists include Alan Hitt, Anastasia Malashkevich, Gunish, Kirill Good, Napoli, and Sophie Lapina. Now you may be asking yourself the question, why would they threaten to withdraw? There must be more to that story, and well, there is. Alexeev performed the song Nasekta in May 2017 at a concert in Kiev and Stavropol. That song was translated to Forever, the song that he submitted ultimately in Belarus. Now, there is a rule in place in Eurovision set by the EBU stating that a song is not eligible to take part in the contest if it has been released, distributed, or performed before September 1st of that year. Therefore, the song Forever is technically breaking that rule. There is a little caveat to that rule, and the EBU has the ability to make an exception on a case-by-case -case basis. Even if a song has been found online somewhere, it could still take part if it wasn't made available to a broader public and, as said, received approval by the EBU. The Belarusian PR agent Sergei Adrianov made the following statement following the accusations. We affirm that this version performed at these concerts is neither the music nor the words that we presented for the selection for Eurovision 2018 and this is confirmed by the agreements with various authors of Navesta and Forever. We believe that further proceedings on these issues should go to the legal plane. We understand that neither the broadcaster nor the EBU will admit any violation of the regulations and will make a legally sound decision. However, the artists just mentioned disagreed with that assertion. So they took matters into their own hands and sent a letter to the Belarusian broadcasters threatening to not sign any contracts and with withdrawal should Alexeev be allowed to take part. We will not sign the contract of participation in the final part of the national selection until the BTRC takes an honest and fair decision on the disqualification of the artist Nikita Alexeev. You can read the rest of it in the description box of this video. But wait, there is more to the story. According to KP, BTRC has confirmed that if Alexeyev ends up as the winner, he would have to change his song but would still be allowed to represent Belarus in Eurovision. The artists feel that they are just accessories to the show, so letting Alexeyev take part anyway, that does not set well with them. Understandably so. Taking part in the contest isn't free and in their mind this would be a waste of time, energy and resources. As the winner, at least too many has already been established. Most people believe that Alexeyev is going to win the Belarusian NF if he takes part. Recording and arranging songs can cost up to 10,000 US dollars. 
No official statement has been made by the broadcaster, so stay tuned on that. I'm sure we'll get some updates on that soon. Do you think that Alexeev should be disqualified or be allowed to take part? Is this blown out of proportion or justified? Leave your comments below in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter and Facebook.